Harborfield's Hassif TV News Camp is a summer camp dedicated to teaching kids grades 6 through 9 about the many aspects of news broadcasting. Action! Hello, my name is Jack Vaughn. Hello, I am Kevin Darty. Hi, my name is Jennifer Annie. Hi, my name is Kyle. My name is Anthony. I'm Tyler. Hey, I'm Johnny Gadamowitz. Hi, this is Gabe Slyle. Hey, I'm Liam. Hi, I'm Gabby Davis. I'm Alex Campbell. For four days, these kids have been recording and interviewing the various other Hassif camps, as well as editing and creating their own videos to compile their work. We, the counselors, ask these kids a couple of questions to find out more about their experiences. I've been them and having a lot of fun. My favorite part about camp would have to be um, putting together the video at the end after you interview all the people from different camps. My favorite part about camp is the editing part and seeing and me meeting new people and what my favorite part about camp is probably interviewing people and finding out about what the other camps do. My favorite part about camp is editing all the videos that we took. My favorite part about camp is editing videos. Edit videos. If I had to describe one word about camp, it's probably magical. Be informative. Exciting. Definitely fun, because camp is fun. <laughs> it would be awesome. Awesome and captivating. It's entertaining. Um, really nice, um, um, counselors. I'm Gabby David. I'm from the TV News Camp. I'm interviewing the girls across team. I'm here with Erin. Do you plan on using your skills in the future? Well, it depends if I do gymnastics right now. It, if I quit, I will move on with lacrosse. What have you learned this past few days? Well, we've learned a lot of dodges. We've done passing and shooting, and that really helped. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Johnny Gadamowitz, here with Louis Volteggio. So, Louis from the Boys Lacrosse Camp, what made you want to play lacrosse? Well, since I usually play baseball, it's a sport that I haven't really come across, so I wanted to try and learn how to play. Nice. Uh, when did you start playing? Um, well, I did come to the summer camp last year, so, but I don't, I don't really play for a team outside of this camp, so okay. this is my second time. Um, what do you hope to learn this week to get better? Um, well, I hope to learn how to shoot a little faster and maybe how to um, uh, handle ball carrying a little bit more easier. But. Okay. So, Aaron, what made you want to play lacrosse? Well, my friends were playing lacrosse, and I kind of wanted to be with them, so that's what made, get me started. Interesting. Uh, when did you start playing? Three years ago. Um, what do you hope to learn this week? I hope to learn a bunch of dodges and defense. Um, do you play on a team besides for this camp? No. Okay. Hi, I'm Gabby David from the TV News Camp, interviewing the boys lacrosse team. I'm here with... Mike Voltaggio. What made you want to play lacrosse? Well, I've played a lot of different sports, and lacrosse is just something new that I wanted to learn. 
When did you start playing lacrosse? Well, I did the camp last year. I've never really played on a team before because I really want to learn. What do you want to do this week? Well, I want to know how to get more control of the ball, just like my brother wanted to. Hi, I'm Johnny Gadamowitz, and I'm here with... This is Lala. What do you hope to learn this week? Um, I hope to learn how to play lacrosse and check my brother. <laughs> hey, I'm Alex Campbell oh, from the TV News Camp at uh, the Boys Lacrosse Camp. This is... Uh, Coach Proctor. What made you want to teach the kids? Um, well, you know, this is great with the little guys because, you know, we get to teach them at a young age, and then when they get up to the high school, they know all the different skills. Okay. Hey, how long have you been playing lacrosse? I've been playing lacrosse since I was in the ninth grade, so that was about, I don't know, something like 14 years ago, 15 years ago. Wow. Uh, what made you want to play lacrosse? Well, when I was in middle school, I used to play baseball, and all my friends used to make fun of me, so I decided I should play lacrosse. Okay. What are you teaching the kids? Uh, right now, we're teaching them some fundamental stuff, so we're teaching them how to throw, how to catch, how to shoot, how to pick up ground balls, stuff like that. Hi there. I'm Alex Campbell, all at the girls' lacrosse camp with... Lena Tornisi. Okay, Lena. Oh, uh, what uh, have you learned in the past two days? I've learned some dodges. I learned different ways how to play lacrosse and lots of other fun things. Cool. Alina, uh, what do you still want uh, to learn here? I want to learn other strategies and, ha and other ways to make lacrosse more fun. Cool. Alina. Uh, what made you want to play lacrosse? Um, I just wanted to try another sport. How is girls lacrosse different from boys lacrosse? Well, in boys lacrosse, they wear a lot of equipment, and in girls lacrosse, they only wear goggles and mouthpieces. Because you, because boys lacrosse, you can check boys, but you can't check in girls. Well, the cool thing about boys lacrosse is we put all these pads on, and we can actually sort of hit each other with the sticks. It gets a little bit rough, so you can't do that in girls lacrosse. Okay. The coach is a lot cooler. I've been playing lacrosse since sixth grade, so almost around Lena's age. Wow. What's your favorite part about lacrosse? Um, what I like most about lacrosse is I find it's a combination of several sports. Um, I also played soccer and basketball growing up, and I was able to utilize some of the things I learned in those sports. Um, so it's a lot of movement, a lot of action, um, great game overall. Cool. Why do you want to teach this camp? Well, I went to Harbor Fields, um, and I played lacrosse here, and then I played lacrosse in college. And um, since I graduated college, I've been coaching here for the past eight years. So um, Harbor Fields lacrosse has always been very important to me, and it's really important that I built the program. Good. We love lacrosse! Hello, I'm Gabe Samwitz, and I'm here with Hassif Kick on Camp, and we're about to interview them about what Kick on Camp is. This is the first time ever in Harbor Field history that they're doing a Hassif Community Summer Camp. I'm Tyler here interviewing a camper at Kick Line Camp, and her name is Delia. So, uh, first question What do you like most so far about this camp? Um, I like all the energetic things, and when you like, kick, it makes you feel really jumpy. Okay. So, uh, where is this camp taking place? Um, Harbor Fields High School. Um, why did you pick this camp to go to? Um, I picked it because I've always wanted to do cheerleading, and Kickline is pretty much cheerleading. Okay. Who are your campers in your group? Kids. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your camp about? Um, it's about learning kick line and seeing if you want to do it when you come to the high school. Ready? Interesting. One, two, three, four, now, five, what is your six, camp, seven, where does your camp eight, take place? One, two, Harbor Fields High School, three, cafeteria. Four, okay. Five, when, six, when did you start to become seven, a counselor at this camp? Eight. Today. <laughs> that's, that's a nice day. Yeah, it is. Why did you choose to work at this camp? Because, um, 
Fun kick line and Mr. Silvestre does too. <laughs> how is your How is your camp run? Um. Well, it's third through eighth graders who come and if they're in Harbor Fields or not, they're able to see if they want to do kick line. Well, I'm Tyler here with the kick liner, and I'm going to ask her some questions about kick line camp. So, what is your name? Sophia Smith. The, so, what is kick line about? Kick line is about kicking and linking up with the group and having fun and just to express yourself. And uh, why do you enjoy kick line? Because I wanted to try something because I did gymnastics and I wanted to try something new that kind of relates to kick line, that relates to gymnastics I will, but uh, How did you find out about this? My mom told me about it and my friend was coming here. And, uh, last question. What do you like about this camp so much? I like, well, Andrew, I like this camp a lot because I like kicking and it involves a little bit of gymnastics. Thank you. Hi, Kyle. What's your name? Olivia. And? Samantha. What's your favorite on um, this camp? Free stands. Um, how do you um, um, split? You put your leg in front and put your other leg in the back and then you just go as down as far as you can. How did you make the routine that you made up with the kids? Um, well, like I choreographed some of it and also the kids choreographed, so we put it together. Oh, and what is this routine about? Um, it's just like kick line, I guess. Now, I'm here with Miss De Silva interviewing about this amazing kick line camp that she started. Now, what does this camp do for the community? I think it gets girls thinking about, young girls thinking about what they want to do later on in high school because the high school does have a kick line and I'm always looking for new talent and girls that are excited about performing for the community. That's good. I like the way you think. What inspired you to create this camp? Um, Several of the girls who were on the team this year have parents who are part of HACCP and they came to me and asked if this was something that I would be willing to do and I said of course. Interesting. Now, is kick line important to you? It is. Um, I did the kick line at Harbor Fields High School about 10 years ago. And I did it for five years, and then I took some time off, and then I came back as the kick line director last year. So this is my second year doing it in the, in the new it. era. Yes. Oh. So it's really important to you. It is very important. And last question. When did you start thinking about making a camp? Um, probably around uh, November of last year, we started talking about it. So, thank you very much. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm Jennifer Middleman. Hi, I'm Kevin Dorney. Hi, my name is Jack Vaughn. My name is Anthony from TV News Camp here at Harbor Fields High School to interview about what they were doing and what's going on there. Hi, I'm Jennifer Middleman here with Mr. Roxo from the sculpting camp here to interview him. Can you name some projects you will be doing later in the week? I started off with uh, what's called the Cow Parade. It's a the most successful art exhibition in the world. It's still running um, for over at least 10 years, um, 13 actually. Also making these effigy pots, which are like these uh, pinched pots that we turn into an animal. Um, we are also probably going to do, uh, we did a coil pots, and I think that the effigy pots and the, the, the cow might make us to the end of the week, but I have one or two other things. Hi, my name is Jennifer here at Sculpting Camp at Harbor Fields High School, here with Rebecca. Becca. What do you hope to get out of this camp? I hope to make some cool crafts, make some new friends, and meet new people. Is it your first year at sculpting camp? Yes. How was your first day going? Very well. 
What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to being here again, doing it next time. Okay, that's all I have, Rebecca. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. My name is Anthony from Harbor Fields High School, and we're at TV News Camp with Robin. And what is your main goal? Uh, my main goal at the, the sculpture camp is to help the younger kids with whatever they need helping with. Um, how do you plan on helping this camp? Uh, by just helping them with whatever they need their, when they ask questions to explain what stuff is and how to do it. Hi, I'm Jack Vaughn here at the Harborfields High School here with... Megan. Who helps counseling at the um, art camp. Um, what is your main goal, counseling? Uh, I'm here to help the kids with whatever they need and whatever else the teacher needs. And what do you want the campers to remember when they leave? I want them to remember what they learned and that they had fun and things like that. What are your experiences with art? Uh, I'm an art student. At, well, I was an art student at Harborfields High School, enrolled to probably six or more art classes. So. And how do you and how do you plan to help the campers? Uh, need help with fixing things or doing things for them, whatever. Do you plan on carrying art out through college and stuff? Uh, yeah, I'm going to school for arts management and new media, which is like art on the computer and things like that. All right, cool. I'm Jack Vaughn here at the Harbor Fields High School. Hello, I'm Kevin Doherty from Harbor Fields High School TV News Camp, and I'm here with Megan, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about the art camp. Um, how do you plan on helping the campers in your camp? Um, just to help them with the sculpting and make them have fun. Okay, uh, what are your experiences in art? Just art class and like other camps. Okay, and what would you like your cameras to remember about this camp? Just having fun and learning new things. Um, so that is all the time we have for today. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Kevin Doughty. Hi, I'm Jack Vaughn here at the Harbor Fields High School here with Carl Bent. He who helps at council at the art camp. Carl, how do you plan on helping the kids? Uh, well, I just mainly help them with having fun with their artwork and yeah. Okay, what do you want the campers to remember when leaving this camp? Um, that they should have a fun time whenever doing their artwork and to be creative. And what are your experiences in art? Well, I went to an art camp at Harbor Fields High School last year, and I think the year before. All right. This is Jack Vaughn signing off. Hi, I'm Jennifer here with Jordan at Harbor Fields High School. Okay, Jordan, what do you hope to get out of this camp? Having fun. Is it your first year at sculpting camp? Um, yes. How is it going? It's going good, it's really fun. Are you looking forward to anything? Um, I'm kind of looking forward to like making clay pots. Okay, that's all the questions I have for Jordan. I'm Jennifer at Harbor Fields High School. This is Anthony from Harbor Fields High School. And what, um, who are you? Jonathan Weisberg. Um, Jonathan Weisberg. Uh, what do you hope to get out of this uh, camp? Um, good sculpting skills. Okay. Is is it uh, your first yes. year to Jeff camp? Yes. Okay. Um. We're gonna peace out. I'm Kevin Darty from TV News Camp, and I'm here with Jeannie from Sculpting Camp, and I'm sure a few questions. Is this your first year at Sculpting Camp? Yes, it is my first year at Sculpting Camp. What are you looking forward to in this camp? Um, I'm looking forward to learning different sculpting techniques. What do you look forward to getting out of this camp? Um, I, I'm looking forward to like seeing how all the different projects turn out. Okay, that's so all the time we have for today. I'm Kevin Darty. And I'll see you guys next time. Why is art important to the community? Art is very important to the community, especially because creativity in general has uh, been used to revolutionize every um, every field. Uh, for instance, Steve Jobs would add aesthetics to his iPods and iPhones, and that's what really made it a big selling pitch. 
Um, but that was artists that designed that. Um, art has also helped with many different movements as far as uh, um, war propaganda has been used for for that. Uh, if you want to use it for any time, um, just to make things beautiful, you know, we have in exterior landscape artists who make um, the things that are right outside the the uh, school with plants and all that too. Mm -hmm. 